Hello students, welcome to BTEC 360. We'll discuss IIT Palakkad now in terms of the, what is the branch wise cutoff, what are the kind of placement that they have, what kind of salaries that they get, what kind of companies come for placement, all those details we'll talk about that. Before I move further, please subscribe to BTEC 360 if you've not already done that. We're trying to cover everything that is important for you so that you can get into the best engineering college based on your merit score, aptitude, affordability and those kind of things. So please do subscribe to BTEC 360 and support us. Right. Now coming to IIT Palakkad, uh, it was established in 2015, so one of the youngest IITs that you have in the country. It's only 11 years old, right, which means only 6-7 batches would have come out of the uh, system. It's an INI, which is what all IITs are at this point in time. The campus size is 500 acres, one of the largest campuses that you'll see. The ranking is 64th best engineering college in the country, which is good for such a young institution. We need to see the numbers of why it's, you know, how it's managed to get the 64th best uh, engineering college. Total students is 666, of which 77% are boys and 23% are girls, right? And about 585 students or 88% students come from outside the state of Kerala, which is decent in that sense. Faculty is 130, which is again a very good, this number of faculty is much more than what the number of students are at this point in time, but hopefully they would be growing as them along, right? Now, when we looked at the placement of the last data that they submitted to the government of India, which is NIRF, this is what we found in 23-24, uh, placement thing, 165 students were admitted four years back, remember that. Every time when we talk about it now, we're linking it back to the placement that's come now and how many students were, uh, you know, were admitted five years back, four years back, of which 156 were uh, graduated, 105 were placed, 16 moved for, uh, you know, uh, higher education, and 75% is the placement. The more important thing is when you look at the place median salary, what is 14.1 lakh has come down to 12 lakh. Which means you've seen about 16-17% drop in salary. You've seen a 16 to 17% drop in the median salary year on year. And that is something that you should be looking at because all of you think that in IITs now the salaries keep growing year on year. It's not happening. The salaries are falling year on year, and that is what this reflects. Right. But 75% placement only, even in the placement size, it was 92% earlier, which is now falling down to 75%, which, for example, if you just look at the number here, the placed students earlier in 20 to 23 was 130 students. It's fell down to 105 students, there's a drop of 25 students. Right, 25 students drop in placement numbers, while the number of students is almost, two students has gro grown, right? The other thing is, this percentage, 92.2% has become 75%. So obviously when the students, number of students who place fells, obviously everything falls. But even the median salary fell by about 67%. So you actually have the placement percentage falling about 17-18% and the median salary also falling 17-18%. These are red flags in terms of the performance of IIT Palakkad over the last year. Right. Now, having said that, what are the cutoff JE Advanced category rank? This category rank. Right. When you look at the category rank, at 6454, you will get into BTEC CS. 8640, you will get data science and engineering. Electrical engineering, 10,300. This is a general category. 12606 for mechanical. And civil engineering is 16753. Right. For EWS category, it's 792 for CS. 1175 category rank for uh, data science. Uh, 1536 for electrical engineering. 1981 for mechanical. And civil is 2519. For OBC, category rank 2379, you will get into CS, 3120 for data science, 3719 for electrical engineering, 4475 for mechanical, and 5841 for civil engineering. For SC, category rank 1182, you will get into CS, 1691 into data science, 2108 into electrical engineering, 2714 into mechanical engineering, and civil engineering is 3024. Uh, for ST, 498 category rank for CS, 612 for data science, 1099 for electrical, 1148 for mechanical, and 1172 for uh, civil engineering. We removed all the extra, extra numeracy so that we get some normalized curve. So we removed the gender, this is only for gender male, because there are some colleges which offer ex extra numeracy seats for girls and that disturb the ranking normalization curve. So we removed that. Now, what are the companies that come for placement? Accenture, AMD, Aristotle Networks, BEL, BNB Mellon, Dassault Systems, Deloitte, DE Shaw. So you actually have merchant bankers, you have, uh, you know, network, you have some consulting companies, uh, uh, you know, and then you have manufacturing companies, Daimler Tech, uh, Truck and all. 
then you have fedex flowserve ge digital global logic google tech company hcl tech company spcl psu hyundai automotive company icis bank banks are there infineon infosys intel isro isro is there going there for recruitment jaguar land rover jurin lnt manufacturing maruti suzuki automotive mercedes automotive so you actually have all kinds of companies siemens also is there so you have all kinds of companies at this point time going there for recruitment purposes we looked at data in the uh, in on linkedin of how many students actually went through iit palakkad and what they currently doing so that it actually establishes the kind of long term career path of the students who studied at iit palakkad we found 2440 students who studied at iit palakkad of which right now one is working in microsoft three are working in deloitte 21 are working in icis bank because they're going for recruitment mind you qualcom 15 are working at some point in time 30 were working in icic bank microsoft 8 and so on and so forth but more importantly when we looked at further uh, in terms of mang companies uh, with i think because these companies don't go for their for placement you can very clearly see what is happening only three students are working in apple no one is working in meta amazon 9 are working nvidia 2 are working google 8 are working because google is going there for placement so when they go for placement then you actually see this kind of number coming up so very clearly the big companies still have to reach out to iit palakkad or iit palakkad has to reach out to this big companies to be there but the when you look at the mang companies it is it is at this point in time a bit of a sit back right when we looked at the number of students who are working in uh, who uh, pass through that and where are the working in terms of domicile 90% are working in india which means 10% are working around the world right this is very very good right of which 5% are in usa right about 1% is in uh, you know uae and 16 students are working in germany so very clearly you know uh, i think in terms of the ratio this seems to be a decent ratio because such for such a young institution to have 10% of the students working around the globe is a very good number to deal with we i want you to cover many such things but remember there is a red flag here there is a falling median salary and a falling placement percentage also that's something that you need to factor in when you're talking about this because you need to get into branch wise placements to understand how these things are working out right so if you want me to cover any anyway, in college of your choice please write to me here i'll be more than happy to cover that and subscribe to beta 360 if you're not already done that thank you so much namaste